Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unboxing to do today. Well, they've come in a bag, but there's a box in there as well. And these are from the lovely people at paintsomeway.com. Um, I've been showing their products for quite a while now, and they asked if I would like some more to show you. And there's some fantastic new stuff coming out at the moment. So yes, of course. Thank you very much. I would love to see some more products. So I hope you like what I've picked this time. So we have quite a biggish box there. That could be one of my favourite things that I like doing. And we have a diamond painting. Okay, uh, 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 let's have a look at the box first for a change. And this is one of the new canvases that's come out. And I hope you like it as much as I do because it really made me smile. Uh, so yeah, before I get into this exciting box, there are some special offers at diamondpaintsomewhere.com at the moment. You go and check out the website. Uh, if you add four to your basket, you will get an item free. And there is also 5% off. So yay, money off and free gifts like in that. And if you spend over $49, free shipping as well. So yay. Okay, let's see what's in this box. It's a brand new one that I've not seen before. So da da da, look at this. Wow. Okay, uh, pen boat wax. Oh, and we've got a little chain in there, so we'll take that out. As you can see, it is a Mother's Day little bouquet. Just get this chain out of here first. And we'll just pop those over there. Whoops. Oh, it doesn't want to go back in. Now it's escaped from its bag. It's wanting to stay in there. <laughs> so, yeah, look at this. Nice chain. Um, just sort of a basic lobster claw clasp on the end but that's fine and your standard sort of curb chain but i just thought there's about four different ones of this and i know that uh, in the uk we've had our mother's day and um, it actually happened in march but i know a lot of them places in the world their mother's day is in may so i thought well if i do this one in april then you've got time for it to arrive for me and it has arrived all in one piece look because it's in a box so yeah um i'm pleased about that as i say i know we've had a few wreaths that have come recently and unfortunately because they were just in sort of jiffy bags in packets and um, they didn't fare very well but this one has come lovely all in one piece all in good condition and i just thought it was super so even though it's not our mother's day um i thought i would get this for my mum anyway because to me, her every day is Mother's Day because she's lovely as my mum's. <laughs> but how pretty is that look? And she loves roses. Roses are a favourite flower. And then it's got some lilies in there as well, which is really pretty. And I just, I just like the composition of this, the way that the roses are in between. These are like those large daisy things. I can't remember what they're called, so I do apologise. I'm no good at flowers. I've said that before. With this like lovely banner across the bottom and then all just made into like a bouquet. And I just thought that was really pretty. And it'll last a lot longer than real flowers as well. Uh, it is acrylic. So obviously just be careful. Um that you fasten it properly to the wall i've had one fall off recently i was very lucky it didn't break but uh, yeah just something to be aware of <laughs> it was user error okay and then the little chain will just go through the little holes there look that are already pre-punched in one at either side so that it will hang up on the wall oh which is going to be on actually that's quite pretty it's going to be on like what they'd call a jaunty angle so let me get the glare off it. So the mother, Happy Mother's Day, rather than it being straight across, it's going to hang a little bit at an angle. So you just get, to, albeit with the chain, you could always hang it so it is straight if you prefer it straight. But actually, I quite like things that are just a little bit wonky, as it were. So that is really, really pretty. Um, and yeah, I say there was quite a few different ones of it, but this was my favourite one because it had more of the roses in it. And then there's um, three beautiful lilies in there as well. So let's have a look. Um, let's give it a quick measure first before we look at the gems and see. I think we're going to be about nine, maybe ten inches. Yep, ten. <laughs> ten inches. I'm getting good at this, which is, well, it's just well, probably about nine and three quarter inches, shall we say, to be fair, which is 25 centimetres. And then the actual height of it is... 
about the same yeah about uh, nine and three quarter inches 25 centimeters so it's like a squarish square-ish shape speak properly Liz and then let's just give the chain a quick measure so you can see what length we are say over Easter and um, if you saw my Easter display I did put most of mine actually on the wall with command strips so without including the lobster claw clasps it's about 40 uh, centimeters which is just under 16 inches so it's a nice length chain so you're going to get sort of 20 centimetre drop on your uh, actual little display there which is lovely but as I say I've not used the chain um, on a lot of mine I like to just have them as a picture and because it is the acrylic and it's the clear acrylic it does look like it's floating and you don't really see those uh, little holes when it's on the wall so yeah with it being the clear acrylic very nice but I just thought it was really pretty I wish it had arrived um, for our Mother's Day in March but that's fine I mean I'm, I'm thinking I could save it till next year but I probably won't I'll probably just give her it now anyway so it's a late for this year early for next year <laughs> right so we have 11 different gems and colors in this one very nice uh, there are no gem codes on it so it will just be a generic fitting down but that's fine so we've got this lovely oh a pretender to be in a hot pink not quite a hot pink but uh, it's a good enough pink for me a lovely bright green and that's like a cherry red and a very very bright clear silver there a nice deep blue colour and a lovely grassy green. And oh, look at those in silver. So I've not had those before. I've had the sort of like elongated uh, marquees in like the goldy colours for sunflowers and things, but I don't think I've had them in the silver before. I've got some large emerald green marquees there. Some little standard silver marquees there. Uh, there's no coating on those, so very pretty. Oh, those lovely aqua blue look at those marquee so lots of marquees all for the leaves and flowers and then just lots of small semi spheres in the full gold color there and it looks like they're going to be the centers of all the little flowers so you can see where all your green ones are going to go and then your petals on your flowers will be the silver ones so where are these elongated ones going? What number are they? Oh, they're on the lilies, look. Oh, wow, to make the lily petals stand out and just sparkle a little bit more. Oh, liking those. This is very, very pretty. I'm definitely going more flowery, aren't I? I'm, uh, yeah, I've always been very cute and cuddly with my diamond paintings, but I do seem to be on a bit of a flower theme at the moment. Albeit this one is for my mum rather than for me. <laughs> Right, oops, let's put the chain in with the uh, gems. Right, so just move you across to one side. And I hope that you will like this one as much as I did. Uh, the price of uh, the Mother's Day sign was $9.19. Um, normally $9.99, but it was on at $9.19 when I printed out uh, my sheet. Um, so do go and check that out. Be around about probably the eight-ish pounds mark. I was asked if I could convert the prices. It all does depend on the um, exchange rate on the day that I'm doing it. So there are always very rough prices anyway that I give you. Uh, and the price of this one was $4.99 discounted to $4.59. Um which will probably again be around about the three pound ten ish mark so yeah but this is one of the new ones that has come out and they just made me smile and i hope you'll like them as well there's a few different ones in the set so i'll put the picture of the different ones as well it's a 30 by 30 and let's get it out of its packet when i can find the ends they always like to hide the ends from me come on where are you i think it's there is it there Yes, it's there. Get out. <laughs> okay, so look, it's a craft life painting. And I just thought, wow, for anybody that's crafty, uh, likes doing craft for your own craft room, just something for us, something a little bit different. So we have our pen, boat and wax. Oh, that's a deep coloured boat. Look at that one. That's a different one. Hmm. 
Okay, not keeping it, not keeping it, Liz. I know I keep collecting all different ones, but no, just because it's a different colour, don't be keeping it. <laughs> give it a quick flat out. It's come, I'd say, quite a ways. And uh, because they wrap them around the gems and the toolkit, they do get a little bit creased, but put them under something heavy um, or you can't iron the back of them before you actually put your gems on. Just obviously test it first up to put a really, really hot iron on and melt your canvas. Um, and always make sure you iron on the reverse as well. And then, yeah, look at that. So we've got hot pink craft, which I just thought that's definitely me. There's a little bit of a leopard print going on here as well, or an animal print. We've got a paintbrush. We've got old buttons around the edge. We've got little hearts. We've got little flowers. Look, a good pair of scissors here. Look, all sparkly. And then some little hearts and some more little buttons down here. So, oh, and a ball of wool. So, yeah, lots of craft. So it would go for lots of crafty people. And um, would be great if you wanted to make it into a greetings card or if you want a present for a crafter and you don't know what to get them, why not just get them a little uh, picture? You could pop it in a little, it'll probably be 25 by 25. We'll give it a quick measure, uh, 25 centimetres that is, and uh, just put it in a little frame and say, there you are, something to just hang up. And um, yeah, I mean, I can't think of many crafters that wouldn't like this. It would be... Uh, just something a little bit fun and it really made me smile and I thought oh I've just got to get that I've just got to have that sound it will just have to go in my craft room <laughs> actually I might hang it on the door just to upset hubby <laughs> so you can't just shut the door then and say oh that's just a bedroom because it'll have craft life on the outside yay and then I'll open the door and it looks like an explosion and a damn painting factory <laughs> Okay, let's give it a quick measure. As I say, it's a 30 by 30, but I think we will find it. it's a 25 by 25. It is, so nine and three quarter inches by nine and three quarter inches. So yeah, great. Oh, I love that. But yeah, it's hot pink. And I say, I just thought, oh, that's just got to come to me. I've just got to have that one. So we have a 10 different gems and colours and we have got gem codes and crystal codes there as well. So we will be able to put these away with their friends. Looks like we have quite a few uh, special shapes as well. So, okay, let's have a look at these. So ooh, we've got hearts and we've got hot pink, lots of hot pink. So we're starting off with a bronzy colour, which is going to be your animal print there. Next to a hot pink. It's not necessarily two things that I would put together, but then as crafters, we do do all sorts of strange things. We've got a little bit of like a very pale green there and then some sparkly silver, some aqua blue, very nice. And a little bit deeper aqua blue. So that's two different colours. They do look the same in the packets, but this is a lot deeper colour than that one in real life. <gasps> Another hot pink. So we're going to have two tones of hot pink. Yay. We've got some of the semispheres in the gold colour. <gasps> hot pink hearts. Oh, this is a definitely this one. And then some little blue hearts as well. So... Yeah, these that are actually showing as a red heart are actually hot pink. And then you've got your two different colours of hot pink on your letter in there, all around the edge, and then just on the letters as well. And then the large round golds are actually going to go on the flowers, in the centres of the flowers. Oh, wonderful. Loving it. Yay! I do like my diamond paintings. And yeah, I don't like the fact, I don't know why somebody's not brought it out before something that's got craft related on it. Because your diamond painting is a craft. And a lot of people that do diamond painting do a lot of other crafts as well. So yeah, it's a really good one, I think. So very, very pleased with these. Yay! So just our two lovely items this time, our gorgeous Mother's Day hanger, which is just wonderful. I think most mums will like that one to have it hung on their wall. So, yay. I mean, you could always cover over the Happy Mother's Day with something else if you didn't want it to say Happy Mother's Day. Uh, you could even put your mum's name on it or something or just put a piece of ribbon over the top of it. 
or just put some big gems on it just cover it over if you don't particularly want it as mother's day but it is very very pretty and i just love the arrangement of it and i know my mum will love it because say she's a definite roses girl and then this one is for me albeit i have got a few crafty friends that i may gift it to or i may have to get some more to gift to because yeah craft life it is a lifestyle i have to say and it takes over the house <laughs> You start off with just a couple of little bits and then you think, oh, I'll just get one of those and I'll just get one of those and all of a sudden the house is just covered. Mm. Anyway, at least mine is more or less contained to my craft room these days. <laughs> OK, well, a huge thank you, Paint Somewhere, for sending me these. Absolutely love them. Do go and check out paintsomewhere.com and those special offers. We all like free and money off. Yay! okay if you've enjoyed looking at these with me as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and you don't want to miss anything then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you get a little notification saying liz has uploaded a video would you like to come and see it and hopefully you'll say yay <laughs> okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now